Part 2. Azure Moon. Guardian Moon. The Delusional Prince. Prince Dimitri and the remnants of the royal army join with the remaining Knights of Saros to form a revitalized kingdom army. Using Garrig Mach as their base of operations, they rise to action against the Empire. You! So you were alive after all. Professor, it is so good to see you again. My brother and I were worried about you. Ah, oh, thank the goddess. I couldn't bear the thought of letting Gerald down by not finding you. Guess you lucked out. We've been looking everywhere for you. But I see Lady Rhea isn't with you. Damn. Everyone was real worried about you, Professor. Gilbert has told us everything. From here on, our strength is yours as well. Does my heart well to see that all of you are safe. Now that we have all gathered, let's discuss our next course of action. We have two objectives. To overthrow the Empire and to rescue Rhea. I have no objection to joining forces with you. After all, our interests are aligned. Nothing could be more reassuring than securing the cooperation of the Knights of Seros. The Archbishop entrusted all of her affairs to you. From now on, I shall comply with your wishes. We'll make Garrig Mok our base, and prepare to make our stand against the Empire. There is a fair amount of damage, but we will at least have shelter from the wind and rain. Surely those Imperial Jerks have this place staked out, right? It's a highly strategic location. While it may be a strategic location, it's too far from the front lines to be worthy of notice at the moment. This area is inconvenient as far as transport time is concerned, so it's of little importance to their war effort. Even so, nothing slips past the Emperor. It is safe to assume she at least has this place under surveillance. Professor, what do you think about making this place our base? Fortunately, there are still villages and hamlets nearby. And though I wouldn't call them abundant, we have war funds as well. What do you think, Your Highness? Do as you please. Hey, don't act like this doesn't concern you. We finally reunited after all this time. We've got to work together. She's right. In fact, why don't we all join forces and clean this place up a bit? Oh yeah, that's a great idea. And it'll give us time to reminisce about all the good old days at the Academy. I can't wait! How carefree of you. It may sound trivial, but... Well, I think it's a good idea. I understand feeling impatient, Your Highness. But patience is key at a time like this. If we fix up our base, it will improve morale, which will be sorely needed as we... Fools. Stay out of this! Please, calm yourself, Your Highness. We are not your enemies. My enemies say the same. What happened to him? It's like he's a completely different person. I feel so bad for him. Would it help if I brewed him a nice pot of tea? I cannot claim to understand how he feels. However, the way he's behaving, it's as though he's being haunted by some unseen force. Perhaps. You're wrong! It's not like that, Glenn. I swear it! Any love I once had for my stepsister has been tossed aside. Only hatred remains. If I could tear that woman to shreds right this very moment, I would! I don't care if she's the Emperor. It's no different than killing anyone else. 
So I beg you, all of you, do not worry about my resolve. Please, father, and you too, stepmother, do not gaze at me with that look in your eyes. I will bring you her head soon, and when I do, you may finally rest in peace. I know it. Yes, I know it. What do you want? I see. We should make haste and prepare to move out at once. I must kill her as soon as possible. I don't have time to leisurely set up camp like the rest of you fools! Pardon the interruption. We must prepare a counterattack at once. The Imperial Army has caught wind of our position. It would seem they were patrolling this place after all. The Imperial Army, is it? Well, well. <laughs> Your Highness, I ask that you please refrain from reckless behavior in battle. It would seem the report that the Knights of Seros have returned was accurate. This is going to take some effort. Brother, I heard a rumor that there is a vicious murderer among our enemies. Well, who knows if there's any truth to it? Though I admit we have lost some soldiers recently. Whether he's among them or not, taking on the Knights of Seros is extremely dangerous. You're not ready for the front lines, Flesh. Stay in the back and support us from there. Understood? No! I want to stay with you! I have to- I need you to understand, Flesh. I will come back, I promise. Fine. I trust you, brother. Please, be safe. All units, prepare to attack! I've set my sights higher. Easy. Oh, what a relief! to hard work. I'm so glad I passed! I must continue to work hard. Thanks to you, Professor. I passed thanks to you, Professor. something new, won't I?
At the monastery at Garag Mach, the Kingdom Army proceeds to bolster its forces, but the Empire is already one step ahead. An Imperial vanguard, led by General Randolph, has deduced the location of the Kingdom Army and now advances with the aim of toppling Garag Mach for a second time. I've set my sights higher. I do this for the greater good. A new height to reach for.
Knights of Seros are a powerful enemy, but we have more soldiers. We'll take them down all at once. There are more enemies than expected. Attacking with fire would prove most useful here. Report. The enemy has entered the periphery of Garrig Mach. If they reach the interior, we won't be able to protect the monastery. Drive them back. I'm your girl. What's next? What's my strategy? Let's clean up. Sending their numbers. I'll comply. See you in the eternal flames. I'd be honored. I won't falter. What's the plan? for our future. Ready when you are. I'll cut through. You thought well. More fighting. your service. I'll do my best. Yeah. <laughs> 
you knew the odds. Was the only way. Watch and learn. All is going to plan. It is our duty to guide these soldiers to their destination. Stay alert. An attack may come at any time. until we meet again. Fault him. There's a way forward.
You took me lightly.
Don't bother haunting me. Well done. Turn the tides. I must lead them well. I feel my strength building. of doubt long ago. Feels good to fight for our cause. Expect no less. <laughs> oh, 
All talk and no action. I could learn from that. I'll cut through. What's the plan? Fought well. What's my strategy? At your service. You. 
some more fighting. I'm your girl. I'll do my best. See how this works. Let's clean up. Ready when you are. I shall not stray. I'd be honored. It was the only way. It's win or die. One to remember. You're really tough. I owe you one. What's the plan? I'll comply. Too weak for this. 
this world. Appreciate it. Fire attack is ready. Now, to draw the enemy's attention. So many units, and you still can't defeat us. The Empire's generals are not as formidable as I'd heard. Quiet! Don't think you'll get away with mocking me! Attack! Make sure they never speak again! Now! Fire attack! The damage is too great! We can't fight anymore! All units retreat! I'll take on our pursuers! Carry away the injured soldiers! Chase them down! Leave none standing! Eliminate them before they can regroup! This is my stage now. Just be careful. Burn until we meet again. I see how this works. You took me lightly. Goddess, forgive me. I won't let this hold me back.
total loss. But we can't just return home like this. Professor, get down! Eventually, I too will fall. That took too much effort. I must steal myself. I'm getting closer to my goals. to lose. For my 
my house for justice. I will not be defeated. It's over. Ha! Yeah! Uh! No, this can't end here. Capture him. A terrible battle, yet Garrick Mok still stands. Your Highness? I have family waiting for me. Please, I can't die here. A beast of your depravity prattling on about family? How amusing. As though you could understand such a thing as love? You heartless monster! You are a monster too, General. You have just yet to realize it. A monster who thinks he's a man. Despicable. As a general, you must have killed countless souls without a shred of mercy. Do you still remember the sound of them begging, just as you're begging now? Or now that your life is at its end, will you hold to the lie that your hands are not stained red with blood? This... this is war. I did what I had to for the Empire, for the people, for my family. <laughs> so, you are piling up corpses for the people and your family. And I am doing the same for the salvation of the dead. After all is said and done, we are both murderers, both stained, both monsters. You're wrong. Am I? I can smell the rotting flesh upon your hands even now, General. Enough! That's enough! I won't kill you right away, my fellow monster. Unless you object to watching your friends die. One by one. If so, I will do you the service of removing your eyes first, so that... Please, forgive me. What is the meaning of this? The Dimitri you once knew is dead. All that remains is the repulsive, blood-stained monster you see before you. If you do not approve of what I have become, then kill me. If you insist that you cannot, then I will continue to use you and your friends until the flesh falls from your bones. We managed to repel the Imperial Army, but we remain divided on our next course of action. I anticipate a second and third wave of attack. With our current forces, we'll have our hands full just defending. It's a miracle we managed to repel the Imperial Army with the few units and resources we do have. We should probably contact Rodrigue right away to request backup. Rodrigue is in a difficult position, as he has suffered invasions by the Dukedom. But there are troops who share in our cause, gathering in the heart of Fraldaria's territory. If we can arrange for them to join us, our forces will grow considerably. Fraldarius. So, Rodrig is still alive, is he? So you did. I wonder what my old man will say when he sees you now. That spectacle alone would be worth the trip. Hmm. I've already sent word with our fastest messenger, informing Rodrig that his highness is alive. But we would do well to send another, in case anything happens to the first. With the current state of things, we'll be completely helpless without his support. Your Highness, may I ask what your next plan of attack is? Should we dispatch our troops to the Kingdom Capital, or to the Imperial Capital? We will take the Imperial Capital. There, I will kill her. We end the war and chase away the lingering regrets of the dead. Nothing could be more to the point. 
Uh, that may be true, but don't forget that your people need our help right now. Your Highness, I hate them too. But the citizens of Ferdiad have long awaited your return. Just give it up already. Wasting time thinking about stuff like that will only dull your blade. Defeating Edelgard would put an end to the war. That would benefit the kingdom as well. We still need to look for Lady Rhea. So I agree that we should get to Enbar as fast as possible. Professor, whatever you decide, we shall follow. You were entrusted with leading the church. One would think the logical step is to march to Enbar. If Lady Rhea is being held prisoner in the Empire, we don't have time to waste taking back Ferdiad. Can you deny it? Either way, we are in need of numbers. It is essential that we secure backup.